Well, I tell you what's happening, Roland. Here's what's happening. Here's what's happening. One of the biggest fish of my, of my whole year. It, I just waited on a really good scale. I got this really good scale. In fact, I waited on two different scales. It weighs, it weighs almost 10 pounds. It's like 963. Look at that big thing and guess what it hit? It hit a frog. It hit my spro frog. And I'm going to show you how I'm doing it. I caught that big giant almost 10 pound bass just a second ago on this big giant spro frog. Okay, today Kevin <laughs> Bennington, Brian Bennington, Brian, Brian Bennington. <laughs> and Brian, Brian, hey looks, Brian, you, what'd you just catch? I just caught a seven and a half pound largemouth bass, the biggest bass. Almost, as, big, almost as big as this one. It was awesome. Almost as big was, as that one. It was wonderful. i tell you what I'm going to do, Kevin. Brian, I'm, Brian, I'm going to let this one go, Brian. I got Brian, Kevin. I just can't get the thing through. <laughs> and I'm going to. I can't remember my own. I'm just going to. I'm, <laughs> Brian. What I'm going to do? I'm going to let the let the troll motor up, and I'm going to come around with the troll motor, and I'm going to let this fish go right here. It's almost a ten pounder, son. Hold on now. Ten, almost a ten pounder, right? Here you go. Here goes ten pounds. Practically okay. Now here's here's what I was doing, folks. I was taking the frog like this, and I was talking to Brian. He was in the back fishing a shiner. He just caught his biggest bass ever, his seven and a half pounder. And I'm talking to him about it. So what a beautiful fish, Brian. That was just a giant fish, and I wasn't even looking. And all of a sudden, this giant bass just blew up on my frog. So anyway, what I was doing, I was going along this edge. I was just making a nice cast right by these hyacinths and weeds, and I'm just fishing it slow and easy. Donk, 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 and I turned to I turned to Brian, and I said, Brian, wasn't that something that big old giant seven and a half pounder you caught? And about that time, that nine and almost ten pound fish hit that frog. In fact, Brian, I'll hold the camera. Okay. Once you get one of your shiners, all right. And I'm just going to let him. Okay, watch what Brian's doing. But Brian's got the rod right here, and he's got the shiner right there. Put a shiner out there. Okay. There Just throw it right behind the boat. Okay, he's doing it. He's doing it. Doing it fine. He's going to throw it right back out there. Okay. He's put it right out there. Okay, Brian. That's a good deal. Okay, now while you're there, you put it in the click. And I'm just going to show the audience another kind of second or two right. of, of what I'm doing. Okay, what I'm doing, I'm going to cut, cut, cut up in the in this thing here. It's not often, folks, that we catch these monster bass like this. I mean, we have, we have caught a couple fish. We've caught three big fish, seven pounds or better, and that one's all hung up in the, in the weeds. And I'm going down these, these weedy edges, like right you see in front of us. There's hyacinths here, and there's uh, all sorts of stuff. Let's see if we can get this, this out of here. Uh, I can't get it out. We got some excitement here, Roland. We can't turn it off. You can't turn the camera off because it would mess up the whole deal. But anyway, I want to just talk about what I'm doing. And right now, I'm totally messed up. Well, it would have been I so can't... bad, but it was chaos in the boat. Uh, it's chaos right now. I can't even fish anymore. Okay. It's so it's so wrapped up. I can't even I can't even do it. But anyway, I was going down this edge, talking to Brian after he had just caught his seven and a half pounder. He was so excited. He's from Phoenix, Arizona, and he's a helicopter pilot working for the Sheriff's Department out there in what, Mariposa County? Phoenix, Phoenix, huh? Arizona. Uh, Phoenix, yeah. Anyway, hey, that's what's happening in my world. I was talking about some monster bass today, folks. I'm, I don't do many guide trips. I'm, and uh, Brian called me up, a good friend of mine, uh, Fred Ward. He used to uh, work down here and be down here. Fred uh, had, had got a hold of Brian, and he called me and says, said, Roland, hey, I got a really good guy. I want to have you take fishing. So sure enough, here we are out here on the stick marsh catching monster bass. I mean, on frogs and on shine. Oh, hey, oh, I think your float's down. I think, let's see, let's see, let me, let me, let me see if Brian's got one. Oh, it came back up again. Oh, your float came back up. Your float came back up. Well, anyway, anyway, Brian, how's a heck of a deal? But it's not often that we can catch nine and ten and eight pound bass and seven pound bass like we have today. 
It's just a real treat. That that genre's gonna go. Oh, it's going. It's going to go. Gonna get one. It's going to go. Hey, we got to go, folks. I got to get my frog undone. Brian's got to go catch this fish. I'm getting it. So that's what's happening in my world. Uh, 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 let me see. Let me see. Oh, come on. I think. Come on. He, he's he's going to get him. 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 Oh, did he get it? Did he get it? Huh? Oh, come on. He didn't get it. He didn't get it. We tried. He, he's 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 out there. He's out there. Hey, look at it. he's kind of pulling a little bit. Maybe he, maybe he'll. He's kind of pulling on it. Oh, I know it. Just, I don't know what to do here, Roland. Pull a little bit back little and just see back. what happens. Just a little bit. Well, I feel the shine. There's no weight just yet. No weight. Uh, well, anyway, folks, that's what's happening in my world. Big old giant fish in the stick marsh. Hey, we'll see you again soon. Hey, and thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.